Hey everyone, today I wanted to make this quick how-to video on how to level a gravel driveway. I recently just brought in eight yards of gravel, about 10 tons. Uh, this is 5 8 minus, so it's got some sand mixed into it. It makes for a good base layer. Uh, and then I'm gonna put fresh 5 8 rock on top. But I wanted to quick, quickly show you how I'm going to be leveling this uh, to get it ready for the next layer. Okay, so in most gravel driveways, they recommend having at least four to six inches for your base layer. So depending on what, uh, you know, what you're doing for your project, you're going to either want to pick up some two by fours or some two by sixes. I have both here. Uh, I'm going four inches deep for my driveway here. So for the demonstration purposes of this video, that's what I'll be doing. Okay, first it's good to know how long the longest board is that you're going to be using. So if I take a tape measure down here, we're looking at 93 inches. Okay, so since I want my gravel driveway to be four inches in depth, I'm going to be using the two by fours because they're four inches in depth. So you're going to want to dig a little trench using a, trench, using a shovel and then place your uh, two by four in there and get it secure. Okay, and since my long board is about 93 inches, I'm going to be measuring from the board I just put in out to about, you know, 85 inches. You're going to want to allow at least, you know, three or four inches. So let's do 85, we'll be right about here. Okay, and then dig your second trench for the second board. Take your board, set it inside the trench. Okay, because this uh, driveway runs right parallel next to my house and I live in Seattle where it rains a lot, you want to make sure that the gravel driveway is level but still, you know, slightly, slightly sloped so the rain doesn't, you know, accumulate and puddle and cause damage to your house over time. So once you get your board in there, you're going to want to put a level on there. As you can see, the bubble is not exactly centered, so it's not 100% level, but it's you know, level enough where it'll look nice and water will run off because water always follows the path of least resistance. So you just want, you know, no more than, more, no more than a 15 degree slope uh, and it prevents rain from pooling. Okay, and then just take a little of the little gravel. Okay, next thing I do, start adding some dirt and get it kind of piled up there kind of concentrating on the areas that look visibly low. Okay, taking your long board, you're just gonna wanna put it on top until it makes contact with each of your boards on the side. And then just start dragging it straight across. All right, so as you can see, it's still not 100% level, so you're just gonna wanna add even more gravel. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat the process. If you have a helping hand, that can make things a little easier where one person can get on one side, one can get on the other, but I'm by myself today. So, get in position, and start pulling it back. Pretty darn level. Now we're gonna take our plate Compactor. I have a manual one here. I will be renting an electric or gas powered one here soon, but you're going to want to take your plate compactor and start compacting. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty darn flat. If we look back down here at the level. The bubble is in 100% level, like I mentioned earlier, because I want the water to run off towards the fence rather than my house. But that's all there is to it. When you're done here, you can take the board in the front, lift it up, bring it all the way down, leave this one in place, and then just repeat the entire process. So. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to comment and uh, good luck with your gravel leveling projects. See ya.